The Nile's waters have sustained communities for millennia. Its life-giving powers are set to be harnessed once more as part of Africa's largest hydroelectric plant. After almost a decade of construction, the finish line is coming into sight for this nearly $5 billion project. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is set to transform millions of lives. About 70% of Ethiopians live without electricity, but the lights could be switched on when the dam is complete. Yet determining who has the right to control these waters is causing political friction. Ethiopia is the source of the Blue Nile. It heads through Sudan where it merges with the White Nile and then flows through Egypt. Cairo is worried that the dam will affect the volume of water that reaches them. The reservoir behind the dam will be able to hold 74 billion cubic meters of water. It will literally take several years to fill. And that's the main point of contention between Egypt and Ethiopia. The government in Cairo is worried that if the reservoir is filled too quickly, then it will reduce Egypt's water supply, which makes this an existential issue. About 90% of its fresh water comes from the Nile. Slowing down the water flow could irrevocably change life here. A 1959 treaty allocated water between Egypt and Sudan the lion's share going to Cairo. Ethiopia wasn't included in the deal. There have been a series of talks in recent years between the three countries, but they haven't found a legally binding deal they can all agree on. Egypt says it wants a diplomatic solution. The government has now asked the UN to step in and mediate. The Sudanese government has warned against any escalation and wants talks upgraded to a prime ministerial level. With the wet season imminent, Ethiopia is ready to start filling the reservoir. As for the water filling, our current plan is to fill it with water during the rainy season. Successive Ethiopian governments have promoted the dam as a linchpin for economic development. The dam will be able to generate 6,000 megawatts of energy. That's enough to provide power to the entire nation and still have excess supply to sell abroad. Determining what makes an equitable share of this natural resource has become a highly politicized process. The ultimate outcome will have a lifelong impact on the people who depend on it. Natalie Pohonen, The Newsmakers.